Hey, what is up guys? It's your man Chance here, back again with some more of this late ass post commentary bullshit. But anyway, let us continue with the, the gaiety. So this time around, I figured I would, uh, instead of trying to, you know, do something with this post commentary that, that doesn't work out, I figured I'd tell some stories. It's fucking story time, bitches. It's story time. Now, some of you might be offended from me calling you bitches. Some of you might not give a fuck. And to those people, I say, <laughs> yeah, you're just like me. But yeah, anyway, let's get down to story time. I, I got a couple of stories right off the top of the head that are pretty uh, intriguing. At least I like to think so, so. The first one would be about uh, how I almost got arrested my sophomore year of high school. So, uh, it wasn't anything serious, so uh, don't get your hopes up. But it's a pretty uh, bootleg story, so let me delve into it. So pretty much uh, it started uh, me and my friend Nihilus1224. We're going to this thing called Old Dover Days, which is a, like a celebration of like a whole bunch of olden shit from Dover, Delaware, which actually just passed like a couple of days ago. Well, no, it was yesterday. Actually, it was two days ago now, but it, whatever. It's May 6th, guys. It happened May 4th. But, uh, yeah, this happened like three years ago. Yeah, it happened three years ago. I was, uh, we were hanging out. It was just me and him. And later on, we met up with our friend. Let's call him, uh, let's call him Clarence. We met up with him. And, uh, after a while of hanging out with Clarence, we met up with his, uh, girlfriend. Well, not his girlfriend at the time, but... He was trying to make the moves on her. Her name was, uh, let's call her Mary. Clarence and Mary. Mary brought along her friend, Judith. Now, so, so far it's, uh, it's me, Nihilus1224, Clarence, Mary, and Judith. So, pretty much after Mary and Judith get there, Clarence he's not he's not talking to me and Nihilus over here he's uh, kind of you know trying to get his Mac on now Judith on the other hand is she's getting the same treatment from Mary but she ain't talking to us cuz I don't know she, she's a fucking bitch so anyway after you know Dover days is starting to get a little boring we end up going to this park near this lake called Silver Lake Silver Lake is known for being a very dirty and shitty park. Well, lake. Polluted and radiated and shit. Would you look at this? Getting a little power cell and shit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So we head over to this Silver Lake Park and we're, we're uh, having fun. You know, they got swings and, and slides and cardboard boxes. And we're... We're sitting there having fun. Judith is over there texting on her phone. Mary and Clarence over there talking, well, sitting sitting at a bench. And then you have me and Nihilus over there playing it up on the swings, walking up the slides, sliding down the slides, walking up the sideways stairs. It was a uh, it was pretty cool. I haven't done that type of stuff probably since then. But anyway. After a while, I, uh, yeah, I was, you know, being, I think, what was I, 16 at the time? Being 16, you know, you're on the lookout for some booty. Booty is more important than drinking water. So, uh, being a thirsty young male, I was, uh, looking at this one big booty Judy, and, uh, oh, goddamn. When I say goddamn, I mean goddamn. 
it was so big it was a it was a ghetto chick and i don't really like ghetto chicks but damn she had a big <laughs> but uh i was sitting there trying to watch it but i didn't want to be a creeper so uh i guess it was being a creeper anyway but i, I didn't, I didn't want to be you know foiled you know so you know i was sitting there i was like all right we gotta do this we gotta do this somehow some way so I found the greatest vantage point to watch asses while they go along the sidewalk. It, it, it was great. And as, as this one big booty Judy was walking by, I think that was the last dog eco crystal. You ain't gotta be like that, Daxter. Oh look, another power cell. Yeah. But yeah, uh, as the big booty Judy was leaving my 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 vision. I was getting a little sad, but then another ass came along, and so did uh, Nihilus, Judith, Mary, and Clarence. They walked up on me, and Clarence told Judith and Nihilus to vacay, to get out of here, so we can have some alone time with Mary. So they walked over real close to where I was, and Clarence tried to get me to leave. So uh. I made hasty, you know, you know, you want to be a nice guy. So I made haste. I'm, I got out of there. I, I, I have no idea what made haste means, but I got out of there. And, uh, I almost blew my cover. The, the ass almost spotted how close I was. It was terrible. But over to my left, I found some sort of sanctity. Something to clear my conscience of being caught so I uh, walk over to this little sign and it, there's this button on it I didn't feel like reading the sign because readings for chumps so I I, I, uh, I looked at the sign and it had a button and the button had a smiley face on it now I don't know about you guys but uh <laughs> if a button has a smiley face almost anything has a smiley face on it especially a button I'm gonna be tempted to interact with it press that motherfucking button and that's what I did and out of nowhere I heard a dialing tone and I was like this is some bizarre shit somebody got a speakerphone is somebody on the phone behind this sign and then all, all I heard was 911 emergency hotline I was like what and, um yeah uh I fell down the slide are you hurt yeah I, I got a boo-boo and then I ran away laughing because I thought I was the slickest motherfucker around. Then I went over to my friends, Clarence, Mary, Judith, and Nihilus. And uh, they all tell me that that was, that was the cops. And I guess I didn't realize that. I guess I should have. But um, <laughs> they tell me that I can get arrested for this shit. And being a young black male on the streets, that's uh quite dangerous oh look another power sub we're making our way downtown yeah but uh so uh i i hear some sirens coming up quick and i'm like oh no i got to get the fuck out of here asap so i um i find like a few black guys fishing on the side of this uh lake on some rocks then there's like some, uh, there's a, it's like a black family outing or something. And they're like over there grilling and all their kids are just bebopping and boobopping around. So I had, had the choice of either to blend in with the, uh, with the black family outing or the, the black fishers. So I realized it would be easy to blend in with the black fishers. There's only a couple of them. They wouldn't notice me there. So I got in a little bit behind them. Not too close, not too far. Put on my hood, on my hoodie. Grabbed my iPod, trying to try to zone out, but only left one in. The other one, I had to look at the hear hear the cops coming. So I uh, heard out for, for the cops, didn't see any cops coming, and uh, felt a lot better because uh, I wasn't gonna get arrested. The, the sirens soon passed over, and everything was great. I did not get arrested. So that's my uh, bootleg shitty story about not getting arrested. It took 
quite a while to talk about. And I hope it entertained you guys as much as it uh, entertains me to talk about it, because that was some bootleg ass shit. Uh, I also have another story. Hopefully this one doesn't take 20 years to tell. But uh, it was about the time uh, me and Nihilus and uh, this other friend, uh, who uh, let's call him uh, Phil. We, uh, we all had some money. We were hanging out and uh, we decided to go get some food. So we went and you know we got some uh we got some uh McDonald's then we also got some blizzards at Dairy Queen. Now I was done after that, but I could also Seek do a little bit more. Light, for within its flame the answers reside. Ooh, you look about the bison shit. By bringing 120 precursor orbs for each. But Phil, out of all people, you ate the most. He got the largest blizzard from Dairy Queen. And the largest meal from McDonald's. Yeah. So uh, after after that, we uh, we decided to to walk down to this local pizza place called Pat's Pizza. Oh, look, another one. We're so good. Yeah. So um, after that, we finally arrived there. We ordered. We all pulled some money together. We all put in an equal amount of money. And uh. We get the pizza and Phil Phil's holding the pizza because Phil he's known for liking pizza quite quite a lot. And on the way we're we're eating a slice. I had a slice, Nihilus had a slice, Phil had a slice. You know, we're all we're all good, we're all gravy. Then by the time we actually walk back, this is before, this is still sophomore year before any of any of us had cars. We make it back and uh there's like one slice of pizza left. Phil Ate mo the motherfucking pizza, planning. all the motherfucking pizza, and by the time we got oh, there, I saw to? Phil walking, well, running across the street with a box, a piece in one hand and a piece in the other. He was defying the laws of gravity, eating this pizza. It was fucking, it was fucking. I don't, I don't even know what to say. It was. It was just a fucked up situation. I wanted my goddamn pizza. Goddamn it. But yeah, that's, there's, there's that story. So, uh, story time's over. And I guess I'll catch you guys later in a non-post commentary. See ya.